I am Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I will show you how to configure a DNS server for dynamic updates. To do this, I have to go into the DNS manager. Now, the easiest way to do this is to click the Windows key on your keyboard. And when you do that, it opens up the start menu. At that point, I actually have my DNS icon here. If I didn't have that DNS icon here, I could just click on Administrative Tools and then go into DNS. Now, when I get into my DNS Manager, I'm going to go ahead and click on my Forward Lookup Zones and I'm going to click on Stellacom.com. When I right click on Stellacom.com, I'm going to go down and choose Properties. Now, if you notice on the property screen, it tells me that I'm running a primary zone. This machine does not have Active Directory yet, so I'm just running a straight primary zone. And it's actually saying that my dynamic updates are set to none. So if I want to enable dynamic updates, all I do is pull down this box and choose non-secure and secure updates. Now at this time, once I choose apply, which I'll do, this DNS server will now automatically accept all dynamic updates from DNS clients. So I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. I'll go ahead and close the DNS manager, close the administrative tools, and it's as simple as that. In this video, I showed you how to configure a DNS zone to accept dynamic updates.